Yeah. Welcome to Two Crazy Redheads. I'm Debra. And I'm Bobby. And we're here today inside in LA because it's raining. And uh, we need it. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we desperately <laughs> need the rain. And we're here today to talk to you about Prosecco. Yay! Ooh, obviously appropriate for the rain. I mean, who doesn't think sparkling wine in the rain? <laughs> No say... romantic dinner for two. Oh, that no that go. I say yeah. bubbles are always in order. <laughs> Absolutely. So. I just poured you a ton of wine. Good, because it took me way too long to get here. <laughs> so the other thing that happens in LA in the rain is that people can't drive. And I'm pretty sure, based on the traffic that I'm looking at, that there's an accident on the freeway. So well, let's hope everyone's safe. Yes, it was a minor accident. It's a fender bender, hopefully, a couple cars involved, but they needed to get off. So, um, anyway. What's our yeah. wine? This is Soma Riva. Soma Riva, yeah. Prosecco. So did you find out if it's one or two words? It's one word. Soma, it's... Soma Riva is one word. That's the... Do they say what it meant? No. no. I made up that it was like sleeping river. I thought it sounded good to me. Oh, no, no. <laughs> so. well, of course. Mm. Yeah, anyway. So, smell. I already did. I'm probably gonna go in and out of the frame headwise. Woo! Because um, I'm short. She's tall. Yeah, and we have much more confined space than normal. So it's really citrusy on the nose. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So prosecco. I'm used to having a table. <laughs> right now we've got this little itty bitty table in the stack of books eating through the line. <laughs> Here, what are my notes on Prosecco? Um, Prosecco. Well, it's it's made by the Charmont method, um, <coughs> which is means that uh, the carbon dioxide in it, instead of being bottle fermented like with champagne or cava, it is um, artificially put into the the wine. It's yeah, they do make the bigger second, bubbles. They do the second fermentation instead of doing it in the bottle. They do it in large stainless steel tanks. So they do the second, yeah, so they do the fermentation there, and so it gets all, the second fermentation gets all the bubbles, and then under pressure, they bottle it. So bubbles. Yeah, yay. Prosecco is the wine, and it's also the name of the grape. Yes. Yes? Yes, it is. And they can use some other. Varietals. There are some other varietals that are used in making prosecco, only up to 15%. So it's got to be it's got to be at least 85% prosecco. Okay. Hey. I found this. Cool I learned something new today. I found, because I found this cool website that was prosecco.it. So it was like an official prosecco oh, for Italy.it. Italy, which is where prosecco is made. Yes, Italy. Yes. And oh, okay. So some other things on this bottle: prosecco di Conegliano. Somariva. This is not a vintage because um, it's like champagne. They blend them from year to year, so you're not necessarily going to get... If you bought something that was vintage, it probably cost you a lot more money. Um, and then Vino Spumante, and then what does VSQPRD mean? This is what I was able to find. I cannot tell you the exact bin, blah, 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 what it means. Oh, let me it see. What is, is it? I'll tell you. No I, didn't, no, I didn't write it down. Okay. It... What I was able to find out is that that is the European Union symbol for a sparkling DOC wine. Okay. DOC means uh, denomination d'origine. Uh, Hold on, I wrote that one. I wrote that one. Calificada, which means uh, controllata. Controllata? Oh, it's yeah. controllata. Calificada is. Uh, that was, well, anyway, that it means that it's a controlled place of origin. Like, it's like an AOC or an Appalachian. There's specific rules around what wine can be made there, how it can be made, and, and what they can do, you know. Yeah, exactly. I do know in the VSQPRD that the S stands for Spumante, because if it was made with the... Spumante, when you're talking about Prosecco, means fully sparkling, so you're good big bubbles. Frizzante is like slightly sparkling. It's a little frizzy. A little frizzy. <laughs> <laughs> so then it would be like BSQ PRD. BF? Yeah, BF. BF, BF instead of BSQ PRD. So, anyway, so it's on to this particular bottle. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure we spent like maybe $13 yeah, on it. Plus, like we got 
case discount. So really, really cool. Wine. Thank you. Yeah. So. Okay. Remember, I said citrus on the nose. It also has something a little. high off my glass of wine here. Um, there, there might be a little bit of like a terroir aspect in it. A little sinly, mineral yeah. type aspect. Um, anyway. I like it. It took me a long time to get here. I know I already mentioned that, but I just like drinking it at this point. I'm happy. Mm. It is nice. It's got a little it's got a good, Yeah. It does. Like green I apple. thought apple on the nose, and then I was like, ah, maybe this is another pineapple thing where like I'm just so, screwy and I think I break things down too far. But um, it's like green apple, not like totally a tart tastes Granny like, Smith. It tastes like apple. Like Absolutely. Granny, like a, that's like, like a, the mm. finish, yeah. But not like uh, Granny Smith apple pie, like Granny Smith apple green, on the green the side. Yeah. Like that's the aftertaste it gives you. Mm. It's nice. So what does this go well with? Everything. Roll is everything! It's sparkling. You should drink this all the time. Like, you want to know what to keep in your cupboard for when the company comes over? Something sparkling. And what's great about this too is like you said, we only paid like $13, $14 for this. So instead of buying a high-end champagne, you know, this is really nice. I got some Australian sparkling wine recently and it was like, First bottle, 10 bucks. Second bottle, a nickel at BevMo. And it was good. And we had it with tuna and like this uh, red sauce. So like red sauce typically goes with white, uh, red wine versus white wine. Tuna, of course, goes normally with white wine. But together, it was like it was a good one. And it went great with the, the sparkling wine. So anyway. What else did I find? Wine enthusiast gave this wine 86 points. I think it's a little, to me, it's a little bit better. But it's not, I mean, it's nothing to like right home about. It's just, it's a good wine. It would go well with things. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't let us or them determine your palate because exactly. it's yours. It makes sense. So, so we like it. Maybe you will too. Yeah. That's us. Two crazy, crazy redheads. Cheers. Cheers.